Choose the electron configuration that corresponds to an excited state for the potassium atom. A, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d1. B, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1. C, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Or D, none of the above. An atom is in an excited state when one or more of its electrons occupies an orbital that would require a greater amount of energy for it to occupy. This could manifest as an electron being placed in a subshell that is higher in energy than the one it would occupy in its ground state, or an electron being paired in an orbital when there are vacant degenerate orbitals. In either case, we must first know what the ground state electron configuration of the atom is before we can determine if an electron configuration represents an excited state. We can get all of the information we need to determine the ground state electron configuration of an atom by its location in the periodic table. Although the shape of the periodic table may seem strange, it is definitely no accident. This is because each distinct block of the table represents a different subshell of the energy level. For example, the leftmost subsection of the periodic table that contains the first two columns represents the S subshell. The, sub, the S subshell consists of one orbital which can hold two electrons. The rightmost block of the periodic table that contains the last six columns of the periodic table represents the P subshell. The P subshell consists of three orbitals which can hold six electrons. So we can see that the number of columns in each block is equivalent to the number of electrons that the particular subshell can hold. Similarly, the D block holds 10 electrons and the F block holds 14 electrons. Therefore, we must find potassium in the periodic table. Potassium is an alkali metal and is in the first column of the periodic table. If we take a closer look at potassium's information in its element square, we see that its atomic number is 19. This means that a neutral potassium atom has 19 protons and 19 electrons. Therefore, when we write the electron configuration for potassium, there must be 19 electrons, because electrons are represented as the numeric subscripts written on the subshell letters. The sum of all the superscripts in the answer choice choices must be 19. Now, when writing the ground state electron configuration, the Aufbau building up principle states that electrons will fill orbitals in order of increasing energy. The periodic table is arranged such that the energy of the electron subshells increases from left to right and from top to bottom. With each row of the periodic table representing a new energy level. And we place the electrons in the orbit orbitals accordingly. Each subshell letter in an electron configuration is preceded by a number, which represents the principal quantum number n. This number is indicative of the energy level of the electron and is usually the same as the row number of the periodic table the element resides in. 
Beginning with the 1s subshell, we place the maximum number of electrons that each subshell holds before either moving on to the next subshell and or energy level, or we reach the number of electrons that the atom possesses. Now let us begin writing the electron configuration of, of potassium. Potassium is in the fourth row of the periodic table. This means that it possesses all of the electrons of the first three energy levels for a total of 18 electrons. All we need to do now is place the 19th electron. According to the periodic table, the next subshell we encounter is the 4s, which is then followed by the 3d subshell. It is important to note that the d subshells require more energy to occupy than the s subshells of the next energy level. For this reason, the number preceding the d electrons is always one less than the row number in the periodic table. Therefore, the last electron is represented as 4s1. Now back to the original question. We see immediately that we can eliminate choice C because it has only 18 electrons and choice B because it is the ground state electron configuration of potassium, leaving us with choices A and D to consider. Remember, we are looking for an excited state electron configuration for potassium, which means that an electron will occupy an orbital with a higher energy value before one with a lower energy value. So we must determine if this is the case for choice A or if choice D is the correct answer. Choice A looks deceiving, as we normally associate subshells with smaller princi principal quantum number values as lower energy subshells. However, from the arrangement of the periodic table and the previously discussed off bow principle, the 4s subshell's location to the left of the 3d subshell means that it is lower in energy and will fill before the 3d subshell. The presence of an electron in the 3d orbital with no electrons in the 4s orbital and choice A therefore re represents an excited state making choice A the correct answer.